It's just you. It's just you and me. No one's blocking for you. It's over. No one to set a screen. If you're gonna beat me, you're doing it on your own. On your own. No excuses. No excuses. How much work did you put in? This match was already decided. In the off season. In the off season. Down here. Down here. Down here. Where championships are won. Every athlete works hard before the season, but no one trains like wrestlers. We know about the dog days of summer, but in this wrestling room, it's August all year long. They want it hot down here. You don't kick the sweat. You don't make it to the mat. This is the story of the Minnesota wrestling team and their winter dog days. One of the favorite things I think about when I think about wrestling is that you gotta be tough. It's you and another guy on the mat, and uh, you know you don't have to teammate to pass the ball to or anything like that. You got one-on-one -on -one competition, you go for an hour straight, wrestle another guy until you're so tired you can barely stand up, and a lot of times you'd be the guy who's weaker, you know, just palm on you for an hour, so it's just getting beat on for an hour straight. I love that feeling when you take a guy down and you just drive him right into the mat and, and you can just he, hear him grunt a little bit. Pretty good feeling knowing that there's nothing he can do to stop you. It's not easy to put somebody to their back. You can ask maybe a guy or two that's been in a bar fight. People are always nipping at your heels trying to, you know, beat you out of the spot and stuff. So, And there's no controversy whether who's better or who's not. The score tells it. It's a sport for all sizes. You can be the smallest guy in the playground and you can be a, you know, a national championship wrestler. You can be the big bully on the playground and you can wrestle and everybody in between. Wrestlers aren't the greatest athletes in the world. They're people that are having to work extra hard on stuff that they're not good at because to a lot of wrestlers, it's not natural. I think you look more at what, it, what is his attitude? What does he bring to the match? You know, wh how does he wrestle? Is he aggressive? Does he go after the other guy? Does he wrestle through the edge of the mat? You know, is he always taking it to the other guy? Those are things that are very hard to put inside someone, you know, that aggressive nature. We're going out there and we're trying to beat the person as bad as we can. I'm a pretty mellow person outside of the room, pretty laid back, but uh, just kind of time to get my aggression out and then I just love getting out there when I can just beat someone down. Break them, break them mentally, get them tired, so, and like take them down and just let them up and push them out of bounds, just pretty much being mean, just getting them broke and just making them look stupid on that. The first three months are a pain. I mean, it's brutal. You're getting up at 6.15 every day, coming in here, running, lifting. Kind of get used to it after, as the season goes on. Uh, they start us out with 6.30, 6.45 there, and then our body gets used to waking up early, so when we wake up at 7, 7.15, it doesn't seem so bad. Let's do it.
All right, here we go. This could be a great pull. Wham! That a boy. That was your best one. Yet. That was a good job. We're trying to make them as efficient as we can on the mat. What we want them to be able to do is when they need that instant explosion, we want to have done our job so that they can do it. Today is just kind of a typical day, I guess. Just wake up as soon as you wake up, get dressed, head out the door, go run, come in here, lift. You got to be a tough person, mentally and physically. You got to be able to go through the grind day in and day out and, and, and mentally set your goals high. We have meetings with them twice a year, you know, before the season and after season, to tell them where they are, what they need to do, and what they need to focus on. And then it, it kind of falls in their lap, you know, where do they want to be, what do they got to do? It is a sport that everybody can do if you can mentally hack it, you know. And like you said, we have 38 guys in here right now, but come back here in four months and see how many guys we have. You feel how this comes? Now just bring your arms straight out, eh? You have these skills that wrestlers de develop, you know, sacrifice, dedication, discipline, hard work, the ability to function under duress. Those are skills that you learn as a wrestler that don't leave you when you stop wrestling. Old guys teach the young guys how to keep their sweat going. Bobby, make sure you get a couple young guys because you can teach a lot of stuff here. The guy who knows how to cut weight, it's you. Weight cutting, that's one thing that makes you tough. More or less learning how to train your body to lose that sweat over a long period of time instead of trying to do it all at once you know you, gradually every day after practice you're putting that at putting in that extra 10 15 minutes lose that extra pound you know two pounds most people don't understand that if you're kicking that sweat for a good hour after practice you're burning fat our, our bodies are amazing what they can do when we push ourselves some bodies can lose four or five pounds in a practice and it doesn't feel like much I used to lose as much as seven or eight pounds in an hour and a half. I'm still, you know, 10 over. I still got a ways to go, but. I think the first couple of weigh-ins, it takes your body a little bit to get used to it. Just the fact of wearing sweats, wearing heavy stuff, sweating for a longer period of time. You know, your intensity is not as high like it is when you're in practice, but. You're just getting that extra extra fat off. Cutting weight is very simple, okay? Work more, eat less. It's a pretty simple deal to do, but it requires discipline. Getting up in the morning and knowing knowing throughout that day you might get one meal, you know, and, and wrestlers do have a bad a bad rep for, you know, not eating and starving themselves. When it's done right, you know, guys are eating. If a guy cuts his weight wrong, when the lights are on and you're out there competing, you can see it. They don't have the right nutrition, they get tired, things like that. Most kids that come into this program are the best in their class, the best in their state. They didn't have to cut weight right. They, you know, they beat everybody up so bad they didn't, they didn't have to do it right. They come in here, now they're getting beat on. They need to be taught the proper way to do it. F***ing sandbagging bitches. That's bullshit. Obviously, the, on, the older guys who do do it right know how it's done are the best examples to go by. Come on, fellas, come on. I don't know, sometimes you just need that older guy, you know? He, need, he needs to learn how to do it right. 